There was nothing about the starry sky that night to suggest that strange and mysterious things would soon be happening. Hagrid, at last. And where did you get that motorbike? Borrowed it, Professor Dumbledore, sir. No problems, were there? No, sir. House was almost destroyed, but I got him out all right. Nestled in the bundle was a baby. Harry Potter, the boy who lived. For the next 11 years, Harry lived with his dreadful Aunt Petunia, Uncle Vernon, and cousin Dudley, the Dursleys. Then, one day, he received a letter inviting him to attend Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Told you. Didn't I, Harry? Told you you was famous. Professor Quirrell. Harry, Professor Quirrell will be one of your teachers at Hogwarts. Potter, can't tell you how pleased I am to meet you. What sort of magic do you teach, Professor Quirrell? D -d Defence against the dark arts. Not that you need it, eh, P Potter? You'll be getting all your equipment, I suppose. I've got to pick up a new book on vampires myself. Must get on, lots to buy. Come on, Harry. Three up, two across. Right, stand back, Harry. Welcome to Diagon Alley. Just your wand left from Ollivander's. Oh yeah, and I still haven't got your birthday present. Hello? Good afternoon. Ah, yes. Yes, yes. I thought I'd be seeing you soon, Harry Potter. You have your mother's eyes. It seems only yesterday she was in here herself, buying her first wand. Ten and a quarter inches long, swishy, made of willow. Nice wand for charm work. Your father, on the other hand, favoured a mahogany wand. Well, I say your father favoured it. It's really the wand that chooses the wizard, of course. Well now, Mr. Potter, let's get started, shall we? If you'll kindly follow me. Have a look around, Mr. Potter. When you find a wand you like, pick it up and let's see if it likes you. Holly and Phoenix feather. Eleven inches. Nice and supple. Stand over there, on that platform, to try your wand. Curious. How very curious. Sorry, but what's curious? I remember every wand I've ever sold, Mr. Potter. Every single wand. It so happens that the phoenix, whose tail feather is in your wand, gave another feather. Just one other. It is very curious indeed that you should be destined for this wand when it's brother. 
why its brother gave you that scar. Yes. Curious indeed how these things happen. The wand chooses the wizard, remember? I think we must expect great things from you, Mr. Potter. After all, he who must not be named did great things. Terrible, yes, yeah, but great. Please retrieve the spell book that lies beyond. It will prove most valuable in all that lies ahead. Over here, Mr. Potter. Oh, bravo. Yes, indeed. Oh, very good. Well done, Mr. Potter. Once you learn some more powerful magic, you'll be able to cast more powerful flippendo knockback jinxes. These three large shields on the far wall can be flipped using your flippendo knockback jinx. Flip them in the correct order. These imps can be a nuisance. Try knocking them over with flippendo, then pick them up and lock them in the cages. If you'd kindly follow me. Well done, Mr. Potter. <laughs> With the knowledge contained in this book, you'll be able to cast more powerful spells. Here's a helpful hint from the book, just for you. Build up the power on your wand, but be careful. Don't overpower your spells, or you could end up in a spot of trouble. This time, I'd like you to power up the Flippendo spell before casting it. Like this. Well done, Mr. Potter. <laughs> if you'd kindly follow me. Hey, Harry. Happy birthday, Harry. She's beautiful. What's her name? Her name's Hedwig, and she's yours to keep. Thanks, Hagrid. We best be going now. The Hogwarts Express is leaving very soon, and you don't want to miss it. The train slowed right down and finally stopped. They followed Hagrid down to the edge of a great black lake. The fleet of little boats moved off all at once, gliding across the lake, which was as smooth as glass. Everyone was silent until... Ooh, wicked! One by one, each of the first years was sorted into his or her house. And what of Harry Potter? Not Slytherin. Not Slytherin. Not Slytherin, eh? Are you sure? You could be great, you know. 
It's all here, in your head. Now? Well, if you're sure, better be Gryffindor. Hey, Harry. Hello. I'm Ron Weasley. I'm in Gryffindor too. It's no surprise, really. All my brothers are in Gryffindor. So, why do you think Professor Dumbledore put the third for House of Bounds? I really don't know. We've got to follow that prefect. It's odd, because he usually gives us a reason why we're not allowed to go somewhere. I do think he might have told us prefects at least. That prefect's Percy, my other brother. How many brothers have you got? Too many. My name's Hermione Granger, by the way. And you are? Uh, Ron. Ron Weasley. Pleasure. You've got something on your nose. Huh? You must be Harry Potter. I know all about you, of course. Look out! Filch is coming! We'd better go! Gryffindors, follow me, please. Keep up. Come on, Harry. We'd better follow Percy up to the Gryffindor common room. Keep up, please, and follow me. Quickly now, come on. Peeves, a poltergeist. <laughs> Firsties! What fun! <laughs> Go away, Peeves, or the Baron will hear about this. I mean it. You want to watch out for Peeves. The bloody Baron's the only one who can control him. He won't even listen to us prefects. Gather round here. Password? You need a password to enter the common room. This year, it's Caput Draconis. Caput Draconis. Well done, young Gryffindor. That is indeed the correct password. Thanks, Harry. Put Draconis. Well done, young Gryffindor. That is indeed the correct password. Hey, Harry. Fred and George have set up a shop. You can trade all kinds of things with them for spells and really wicked stuff. Wow. I must go and see them. Where are they? Go through that door and through the reading room. There's a portrait on the other side. What's the password? Pig snout. Oh. And watch out for Percy. He hates being disturbed when he's studying. You'll need to stay out of his way. If you're careful, you should be able to creep past him. Hello, Harry. We were wondering when you'd turn up. Welcome to our shop. Feel free to browse our extensive range of wizard weezes and magical merchandise. Everything priced at reasonable rates in the only currency universally accepted throughout Hogwarts, Bertie Bott's Every Flavor Beans. And, as a special bonus, for just 10 beans you can have a dip into this chest and receive a special prize. Wow, I've got to try this. It sounds like fun, yes. But then, you haven't put your hand in yet. Have a good look around, Harry. And if you want to buy anything, just ask. You can come back as often as you like, Harry. We'll be here. OK, Harry. It's been a long day. I'm really tired, and I'm off to bed. Morning, Harry. Do you know what class we've got first? It's potions, Harry. Ron can show you the way. Have you seen this notice board? I'm sure if you can find some of these missing things, you'll be rewarded. Hello, Ron. It's potions first, isn't it? Yeah, I think it's down in one of the dungeons. Follow me, Harry. Welcome to Hogwarts. Hogwarts has four houses. They are Gryffindor, Hufflepuff, Ravenclaw and Slytherin. The hourglasses show which house has the greatest number of house points on any day. While you're here, your house will be like your family. Your triumphs will earn you points. Any rule breaking and you will lose points. At the end of the year, the house with the most points is awarded the House Cup. And let me tell you, 
It's about time Gryffindor won. Please try and remember, only prefects and teachers can award house points, and they can also take them away. Come on, Harry. Better get moving. Potions is in the dungeons. We don't want to be late. Double potions with the Slytherins? Snape's head of the Slytherin house. They say he always favours them. We'll be able to see if it's true. It's true then. Harry Potter's come to Hogwarts. This is Crab, and this is Goyle, and my name is Malfoy. Draco Malfoy. <coughs> Think my name's funny, do you? No need to ask yours. Red hair and a hand-me-down robe. You must be a Weasley. You'll soon find out that some wizarding families are better than others, Potter. You don't want to go making friends with the wrong sort. I can help you there. I think I can tell who the wrong sort are for myself, thanks. Buzz off, Potter. You are here to learn the subtle science and exact art of potion making. As there is little foolish wand waving here, many of you will hardly believe this is magic. I don't expect you will really understand the beauty of this softly simmering cauldron with its shimmering fumes, the delicate power of liquids that creep through human veins, bewitching the mind, ensnaring the senses. I can teach you how to bottle fame, brew glory, even stop a death. If you aren't as big a bunch of dunderheads as I usually have to teach, today you will learn how to mix a Wigan Weld healing potion. I want you all to collect the following three ingredients. Asphodel, Dittany, Wigan Tree Bark. Failure will be severely punished. The groundskeeper, Hagrid, may be able to help you with the first ingredient. Make sure you have these ingredients for your next potions lesson. It's Defense Against the Dark Arts with Professor Quiddle next. Class dismissed. We need to collect all those ingredients in time for the next potions lesson. We've got Defence Against the Dark Arts on the third floor now. Harry, this lesson is with Professor Quirrell. I've been really looking forward to it. Good, good day, class. Today we are going to have a most illuminating experience when we l learn the wand lighting spell, Lumos. Not only can this light be used to illuminate dark areas, b b but it is also used to reveal s secrets. Lumos is also a useful spell to use against s spectral beasts, such as guy trashes and g g ghosts, provided you b b bathe them in the light from your wand. To learn the s spell, you must each enter the s spell challenge. N n Neville. How about you first? Ah! <laughs> Potter, your turn. The Lumos spell book is located on the other side of the crawl space. Find it and the spell will be yours. You must then return here to the classroom. G good one, Harry. I'll g give that a b, b b. That's all for t today. Class dismissed. Good afternoon, class. Good afternoon, Madam Hooch. Welcome to your first flying lesson. Well, what are you waiting for? Everyone step up to their broomsticks. 
you see before you a course comprising enchanted rings. What you must do is to fly through as many of these rings as possible in the correct order. Are you ready, Potter? Begin! Truly excellent. You receive an A+. If you want to try and improve your flying grade, come back and see me here at any time of the day. Well done, Mr. Potter. You've earned your house a few points there. Longbottom, your turn. Whoa! Ah! Oh! Mi Mr. 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 Longbottom! Oh dear, it's a broken wrist. Come on now, it's all right, up you get. None of you are to move while I take this boy to the hospital wing. Come on, dear. Did you see his face? Maybe if the fat lump had given this a squeeze, he would have remembered to fall on his fat backside. Give it here, Malfoy! No, I think I'll leave it somewhere for Longbottom to find. How about on the roof? What's the matter, Potter? Bit beyond your reach? Give it here, Malfoy, or I'll knock you off your broom. Don't think this is the last of it, Potter. I'd take you on any time on my own. Tonight, if you want. Wizard's Duel? What's the matter? Never heard of a Wizard's Duel. Of course he has. I'm his second. Meet me tonight on the fourth floor. Wands only. No contact. Dear Harry, would you like to come and have a cup of tea with me this afternoon? I want to hear all about your first day. Hagrid. Hagrid's bound to be in his hut. Come on, Harry, follow me. Make yourselves at home. This is Ron. Another Weasley, eh? <laughs> I spent half my life chasing your twin brothers away from the forest. Hey, Ron. Somebody broke into Gringotts. Listen, believed to be the work of dark wizards or witches unknown, Gringotts goblins, while acknowledging the breach, insist nothing was taken. The vault in question, number 713, had been emptied earlier that very same day. That's odd. That's the vault that Hagrid and I went to. Hagrid? I need to collect some ingredients for potions class. Do you know a good place to find plants in the school grounds? I have a lot of strange things growing out near my garden. You're welcome to go take a look. Be careful, mind. Don't go wandering round at night. Then again, there are some pretty fearful things round here during the day. There you go. Be careful, Harry. only die in proper jewels. You know, with real wizards. The most you and Malfoy will be able to do is send sparks at each other. Neither of you knows enough magic to do any real damage. I bet he expected you to refuse anyway. If he tries to curse you, you'd better dodge it. Because I can't remember how to block them. Half past eleven, we'd better go. I can't believe you're going to do this, Harry. You, go back to bed. Come on. Don't you care about Gryffindor? Do you only care about yourselves? I don't want Slytherin to win the House Cup. And you'll lose all the points I got from Professor McGonagall for knowing about switching spells. Go away! All right, but I warned you. You just remember what I said when you're on the train home tomorrow. You're so... Now what am I going to do? That's your problem. We've got to go. We're going to be late. I'm coming with you. Come on, Harry. We have to get moving. Follow me to the fourth floor. Over here, Potter. Brought reinforcements, have you? Good. They can watch you lose. Follow me and let's finish this. Huh? Bye-bye, Gryffindor. Ha <laughs> ha Looks like you've fallen into the Forbidden Corridor. 
It's a good job I let Professor Snape know. He'll be there any second now. Bye-bye. Malfoy! There's only one way out of here and it's locked. Do you know any spells that can unlock it? Well, as it happens, I do. It's the Alahamora unlocking spell, but I don't actually know how to cast it. However, I do remember reading somewhere that the Alahamora spellbook is kept in the library. I've heard there's a shortcut to the library down that corridor. You're going to have to find the Alahamora spellbook, Harry. Then come back here and get us out! Over. Are you all right? Thank goodness that's over with. It isn't over yet. We still have to get back to the Gryffindor common room. Cast Alahamora at the door and it will open up. Alahamora! Close. Ron, what are you... That one does. You don't use your eyes, any of you, do you? Didn't you see what it was standing on? The floor? I wasn't looking at its feet. I was too busy with its heads. No, not the floor. It was standing on a trap door. It's obviously guarding something. What could possibly need such heavy protection? It's either really valuable or really dangerous. Or both. Well, it's going to have to wait. We're going to be late for charms class. Follow me, Harry. I think Flitwick's teaching us Spongify this morning, Harry. Let's go in. Good morning, class. Today's lesson will most assuredly involve learning how to cast the softening charm, Spongify. Once you have managed to collect the Spongify spellbook, the Spongify charm will be yours. You must then return here to the classroom. Effort. I'll give you a B. I have a message from Professor Snape. He wants to remind you all that your next potions lesson is coming up shortly and there will be house points deducted if any of you forget your ingredients. That is all for today. Class dismissed. Harry, you heard what Professor Flitwick said. We'd better get those ingredients of potions. Professor Snape, he doesn't want to teach potions. Everyone knows he's after Quirrell's job. Knows an awful lot about the dark art, Snape. I'll meet you at Hagrid's. Mr. Potter, tell me, what would I get if I added powdered root of asphodel to an infusion of wormwood? I don't know, sir. Pity. Clearly fame isn't everything, is it, Mr. Potter? I do hope you manage to collect the ingredients I asked you for. I'd hate to have to deduct house points. Hagrid, you know all about magical creatures. Do you know anything about that dog on the third floor? How do you know about Fluffy? Fluffy? Yeah, he's mine. Bought him off a Greek chappy I met in the pub last year. 
I led him to Dumbledore to guard them. Yes? Um, never mind. That's top secret, that is. You forget that, dog. And you forget what is guarded. That's between Professor Dumbledore and Nicholas Flamel. Nicholas Flamel? Why does that name sound familiar? I shouldn't have said that. I should not have said that. I think you'd better get your ingredients before it gets dark. Come on, Harry. The Halloween feast is about to begin. Let's get to the Great Hall. Where's Hermione? Pavati Patel said she wouldn't come out of the girls' bathroom on the second floor. She said that she's been in there all afternoon crying. Troll! In the dungeon! Troll! In the dungeon! I thought you wanted to know. Silence! Everyone will please not panic. Prefects will lead their house back to the dormitories. Teachers will follow me to the dungeons. I've just thought, Hermione, what about her? She doesn't know about the troll. How could a troll get in? Don't ask me, they're supposed to be really stupid. Can you smell something? I think the troll's left the dungeon. It's in the girls' bathroom. <coughs> Hermione. I don't think so. Just knocked out. Wicked! Oh my goodness! Explain yourselves, both of you. Well, what it is? It's my fault, Professor McGonagall. Miss Granger! I went looking for the troll. I read about them and thought I could handle it, but I was wrong. If Harry and Ron hadn't come and found me, I'd probably be dead. Be that as it may, it was an extremely foolish thing to do. I would have expected more rational behaviour on your part, and I am very disappointed in you, Miss Granger. Five points will be taken from Gryffindor for your serious lack of judgement. As for you two gentlemen, I just hope you realize how fortunate you are. Not many first-year students could take on a fully grown mountain troll and live to tell the tale. Five points will be awarded to each of you for sheer dumb luck. Perhaps you ought to, to go. Her to get us out of trouble like that. Mind you, we did save her from a full grown mountain troll. Thanks. What are friends for? That was exhausting, Harry. I'm off to bed. See you later. You have collected all the required ingredients for the Wigan Weld potion. The Wigan Weld potion is in the large cauldron over there. You can fill your potion vial when required. Potter, where would you look if I told you to find me a bazaar? I don't know, sir. Thought you wouldn't open a book before coming, eh, Potter? For your information, Potter, a bazaar is a stone taken from the stomach of a goat, and it will save you from most poisons. A less powerful version of this is today's lesson. The antidote for common poisons. I want you all to collect the following three ingredients. Flubberworm mucus, pufferpod spores, and moondew. Make sure you have these ingredients for your next potions lesson.